it's hard fine. for me too. Yeah. So what we have is you have the adjustment if you have prescription. Um, so ideally, because you don't wear any glasses, you may wear contacts, and that's okay. Um, but you would want this set at this bold line. There's a light. Uh, there's a, a notch right here, or a tick right here, and a tick right here, and you want them to match. Got that it. means you're at zero power. Okay. Um, when you're using the microscope, you also adjust your PD. So if you have a narrower face, wider face, go ahead and I got that. get your microscope. And what you'll do is you'll get adjusted. So you'll start wider and then narrower, start to narrow it down, narrow it down until you see one image. One circle. Yep, one circle, just like your loops. So there is no special settings how to kind of set your microscope. That's pretty much it. Yep. Or you can go to the optometrist and they'll tell you exactly what your PD is, but okay. that's kind of that's, a bother. Okay, show me one more time, starting from there, yep. you know, the, the, the purpose of the yeah. knobs. So the first knob is the tension knob for the main post or your first arm. The second knob is for your uh, tension of the second post or this pivot. This knob right here, right here, if I loosen it, it's very, very easy to down. float up and down and, and it will float a little bit. You can also tighten it up just a hair. And this is one of those ones where you don't need to adjust it that much. Okay. And it should stay. The whole goal of this is you kind of want it to float. I want to play with it as li little as possible. Okay. Um, and then you have this last tension knob and this is the left to right. So this last one here controls left and right swing. So, okay. Yep. This knob or this pivot adjusts left and right of the microscope head. This is the tension on top. The way that I remember it is that this knob is tiny, T for tightness, T for tiny, and the big knob is, is for balance, so left and right. So what I mean by that is if I loosen this up and I adjust this knob, you'll see the microscope start to move. See how it's starting to shift off of zero? So I've already set it up for you to be balanced. Okay, good. And if you don't do any attachments or anything, you it'll, it'll stay balanced. So we're just gonna do that tension knob enough to where I can tilt it and it's staying and it stays right if you're working on yeah the, that's what I upper need. molar with a mirror and tighten it just a little bit there you go sorry Michael no keep worries. getting with the light um, and then you have the same concept down here with the front to back so this is your tightening knob or your friction knob you tighten that for tightness and then this is your front to back. And this one's actually really easy to show. If I go ahead and you'll see the microscope head move. Okay. And you just bring it back so that it's level to the floor. And then you'll just tighten, tighten it enough so that when you pull it back, it stays. And the whole goal is for you to kind of have this ability to float the microscope. Um, moving forward, we have the beam splitter and extender. This gives you the better ergonomics. If you want to in the future, um, we, there's a, a iPhone adapter or a mobile phone adapter that your assistant can use or if you want to post stuff on social media. Um, we have a rotation ring. This is the left and right. This is the friction for that. So um, right now it's a little bit harder to turn left and right. Loosen it up, easier. So I just kind of go a medium setting depending on what you're using it for. Okay. And then you have up and down. So if you have a patient that's really small and really low on the floor and your chair can't go as high as you'd like it to, then you can get your microscope way down and you're able to view like this. Now, if you're working on a long case, posture is the whole goal. Um, get your patient up as high as you can and ideally you wanna be looking straight ahead. Oh, now I turn this way, that's okay. My microscope is tilted, but I'm still looking forward. Okay. Um, these. This is your um, magnification. This is in, this is out, and it's zoom, it's not a step. Um, so you go from 2.5 power all the way up to 18.6. Then you have your fine focus. So this is what they call like a vario focus, mm -hmm. um, or your depth of field. If you're really far away, you've got to have that, have that at your lowest setting, which is 200 mil, or sorry, if you're, you're closest, 200 millimeters or 20 centimeters. And you can go all the way to 45 centimeters away from your patient and you'll still be in focus. You just use this now, but find focus if you're talking like a, a regular camera. Okay. Light intensity on this side, left and right. And then on the left side, you have your spot size. So this is your composite filter. 
Mm. This is your, um, a lot of people use this for uh, perio or if they're working on tissue. Um, and then different spot sizes depending on your magnification. If you're really high mag, you'll maybe want this because then your assistant isn't getting blinded. Um, most, I would say most of our users either use this uh, medium or large setting. Okay. One of those two. That's... Okay. Um, the last thing that you have and that your microscope does have this is pictures and video. Um, once you're hooked up to a monitor, you'll be able to utilize that feature. So it's recording live? Yep. As long, so, so what, I just press it? So uh, a single press is a picture. Push, two, three, recording. Picture, push, two, three, and recording. Okay. And when you have the monitor, um, it'll say in the corner, photo taken, or it'll say recording. So you'll, you do have a visual. And where it's saving stuff? Uh, SD card. So there's an SD card right here in the bottom of the microscope. And it's just a push pin, so you push it in oh, to remove. Oh, you put it in the computer. Yep, and you put it in the computer. And you can save it to your patient chart. Got it. That's good. Um, the last thing that's included in the box that's right behind you here is the, uh, it's a little remote to adjust the settings on the microscope. And so when you're plugged into the monitor, you will, so everything's configured 1080p, everything's configured how it should be. Um, but should you ever have to reformat your card, if zo the, it comes with a Zoomax logo on the screen. If you want to remove that, I can tell you how to remove that just so you have what, a nice image. What, what? Uh, so if this is your computer screen, mm -hmm. or your, your monitor, it'll say Zoomax. Okay. If you want to remove that watermark, oh. you can remove it. Um, but you just plug it in here, so it's just an auxiliary cord. And you and hit what it OK. Does? And, and so this is what will pop, uh, when you have your monitor hooked up, this will allow you to change the settings on the microscope, should you ever have to change the setting. Like you want to remove this. The quality um, of the picture. Quality of the picture. Um, the white balance, I mean, pretty yeah. much any. Understood. So that's where. Setting. Understood. Yep, and we can walk you through this as soon as you get your monitor set up. When I get up to speed. Yep. Okay. Uh, on off is right here. So right now it's on, and you can flick it off. I would just say at the end of the day, or if you don't have patience in here. Otherwise, like I showed you earlier, if you lift up all the way, the LED turns off. Okay. And then you can just go ahead and push your microscope up out of the way. This does. Yeah. And you're good.